leave it alone, leave it in the ground, we'd be better off right now. Navajo culture says respect Mother Earth, sky, air, water, and fire. You're disturbing Mother Earth. You're, you're, you're cutting a hole in your mother is what you're doing. Larry Martinez remembers playing by the uranium mines near his grandfather's home. Today, he runs the Office of Navajo Uranium Workers, helping the people who lost their health in those mines and hundreds like them. Jarvina Lee's father worked in the mines. His death from lung cancer inspired her to join Martinez, helping those who survive get the compensation promised them by the country they helped defend. Back in 1930-something, late 30, I used to herd sheep from my home in that area. Well, later on, it, it came with a uranium. I, I was on my 15 years old when I, I got a job with them. There was no warning of any dangers, none whatsoever. Some men that I worked with already got sick from it. In fact, some already died then. They were in the early 30s, young guys. They developed something inside and then they, 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 they were gone. George Tut went to work in the uranium mines when he got home from the Korean War. When he married and started a family, they lived with him at the mines. They drank the cool water that came from the mines. They breathed the air laced with uranium dust. Now Tut worries about more than his own labored breathing. He worries about the skin and thyroid problems his children suffer. Much of the uranium that fueled America's nuclear defense came from this place, the Navajo Nation, 26,000 square miles that span eastern Arizona and western New Mexico. 10,000 Navajo men use picks and shovels to extract the radioactive yellow ore and prepare it to become part of the most destructive weapon ever invented. <coughs> My name is George Sosi. I'm a former uranium miner. The exposure to the uranium really affected my lungs. Right now it's affecting my throat, making it hard for me to breathe and to talk. And that's how I am. I think it's obvious to everyone that when there's an individual with lung disease as a result of their occupational exposure and they're unable to apply for the compensation they'd otherwise be entitled to, essentially because they're so sick. So essentially there are people who are too sick to apply for compensation. We do have claimants that are so ill they can't take the test, which is a breathing test done with a chemical which irritates that individual and, and at his age it is a very hard test for him to take. We've had some that have almost passed out and we have some on oxygen that cannot take the test and they're denied compensation. They should be qualified probably up to 100% as far as their lungs are concerned because they cannot breathe into that tube. Since April 24th, 2008, we have paid out nearly 1.3... The Labor Department has had several town hall type meetings on the reservation to explain the compensation program, but many questions remain. Larry Martinez says the Labor Department has not been easy to work with. We are a government working with a government which they should respect. Now, the Department of Justice respects us. The Department of Labor has no respect, period. We do work with programs that are out there to assist the clients that we work with, that we handle, which are nonprofit organizations that do provide a service at no cost to the miner, miller, transporter, or the client himself for in-home care. Now, most Navajos, Native Americans, don't want to go to the hospital and stay. It's, it's, it's got to be understood that, we're, that we are not endorsing any 
any if they're sort of they here, then I'll win. They, they can have a place to work. I don't want any banners or anything. No, no, no. Okay? I, 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 I do not want any advertisement. You know, and, and I don't want to turn anybody away. If you feel like that, that they can provide a valuable service for, yes. for anybody, that's fine with me. They can stay. And I told them that yesterday. We, I wasn't throwing them out of the meeting. They were, they were fine to stay. I just couldn't have them in there with a table. That's all I'm saying. This encounter came just one day after Martinez tried to heal the difficulties by conducting a traditional Navajo ceremony of blessing to promote cooperation.